Weekend and another potential storm coming right at the end of the weekend. Yes, but fortunately, this one, Jacob, isn't going to be so messy as some of the other ones have been. Yeah, it's not going to be messy because it's going to be an all snow event, kind of different than some of our storms in the past this season. Today, set the stage for a mild day, and we're going to stay on the milder side for tomorrow. We hit the upper 40s. Some places hit 50, 30s as you went a little further inland, upper 30s as you go into northern Worcester County. County. We're dry, we're clear tonight. Our next storm system out in the Great Plains moving in our direction. It does arrive tomorrow night, and like I said, stays as all snow throughout the duration. That's different compared to some of our previous storms. There it is right there. This is Monday morning. Notice how the all snow for Boston points to the south, points to the north, and by the time we get into the afternoon, we're starting to clear out a little bit. Tuesday dry. And then Wednesday night and into Thursday, we're tracking our stereotypical storm for this season. The snow to sleet and freezing rain on over to rain. This is that kind of winter slop that we're kind of getting used to for this winter. And then ending as that rain. And then finally Thursday evening drying out for Friday and Saturday. Now vacation weeks the past couple of years have meant well above average temperatures, including some 70s and even a tornado back in 2017. Not expecting any of that. In fact, the cold temperatures sticking around much of vacation week for Monday through Friday. And that means these storms arriving, arriving as wintry mixes or even snow for tomorrow. 20 for an overnight low in Boston, teens north and west of town. And tomorrow, we're back into the middle 30s, mostly sunny the entire day. Uh, really a nice day overall until we get into the evening starting to build a couple of those clouds and that's the leading edge of our snow that arrives by about midnight seeing the snow move in tracking the light flurries as they arrive into the morning commute on Monday granted this will be a lighter morning commute for Monday because it is a holiday but still probably impacting some travel and then finally lightening up quite a bit heading into Monday night. We have that one system bringing us about two to four inches of snow, uh, mainly along the Mass Pike and south. As you go further to the north, you're talking up to two inches or so. Wouldn't surprise me if places like the Cape, the islands, pick up sort of a bullseye of four plus inches. Something we'll have to watch as we get a little bit closer. And then Thursday, this storm is unique, not just because of the wintry threat, but because of the coastal threat that it brings with it. With a persistent onshore flow, minor coastal flooding is likely because Thursday is one of the highest high tides we will have all year. So you add those two things together, you get the coastal flooding. There's your seven-day forecast, 30s for the most part, then some 40s as you get towards the end of the week.